Oh, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newcubio.com. So that's our QBO blog. Uh, you may want to check it out. So in this video, I'm going to focus on uh, uh, how to assign a class to previous not classified transactions in batch action. Let's say you started out business without assigning class. Now you want to assign class for all the uh, intro transactions or class went to uh, uh, just wrong uh, class and you want to reclassify it. So can you do that in QuickBooks Online? So I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online in here. So this is QuickBooks Online. And uh, so if you just go to reports and run profit and loss by class, you'll see what I'm talking about here. So it's a non-classified one and you want to assign class for all these. You can do it one, one at a time, but can you do it uh, 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 well in one batch scoop, you know? So that's the focus in here. So you want to assign class in here. So in QuickBooks Online, you know, there's nothing you can do. You have to do it one at a time. Uh, but the good news is uh, if you ask your accountant, with accountant version, there's a way to reclassify transactions for the class in your uh, it's not 100%, but uh, uh, you can they can do it for you. All right, so I'm going to go to uh, QuickBooks Online Accounting just to see uh, how this will look. Okay, so this one is the uh, QuickBooks Online Accounting version. This is how your accountant will see your books. Okay, so they have a toolbox in here. Here's a toolbox in here. So if you click the toolbox, you will see reclassify transactions reclassify transactions okay so this is how they will look and at this point uh, they can uh, reclassify class or, or uh, account or both all right let's just see here so let's just say uh, in not that one let's just pick one in here so you have a class services in here uh, you can change it to uh, uh, in any way you want it. So in this case, class, select class, and you can reclassify from service to products. You know, you can do that. Uh, so you need to check with your uh, accountant to see they can do that for you. Uh, in regular version, there's nothing you can do. So you need, uh, uh, like for example, this here. Let's just say this one is products and it should be let's say service you can change it in here just change it to services now it's all services let's say another one here let's say this is all uh, services and you want to change it to uh, products see how easy is that so let's just say another one here uh, cost of goods sold. So these are all services you want to do in one scoop. Change to let's say products. It's done. Alright, so let's see if, if we can find any uh, missing ones. Uh, let's say in here. Okay, so in the products in here. These are all products. I don't see any missing ones in here. Okay, let's check another one in here. So this one is there's nothing missing, unless you want to change all these two services. Okay, so it's not a good one. I just see another sales. Let's see if I can find this one. Okay, so this one does, doesn't have any. Uh, class all right so labor so let's say you want to sign change this to uh, service there we go you just have to select one at a time for these certain transactions so you can select services okay like this okay. 
There we go. So that all these uh, uh, labor income, uh, we have assigned uh, class now to services. So you got an idea. So you need to check with your uh, accountant and ask for some help if you need to assign uh, class for all the previous uh, not classified transactions. Well, thank you for watching this video. You can subscribe to our YouTube channels. We have uh, all kinds of free video tutorials. We have two channels, PP Controller and QuickBooks QBO, the one you're watching. Thank you again. Bye.